Alright guys, how's it going? So I released an update to one of my add-ons and one of the features was rest on ground. Pretty basic stuff to be honest. But you don't necessarily need my add-on to achieve this effect in Blender. But it's available free to download, hashtag free plug. I'll put the link in the description down below. So we can actually use the snapping tools within Blender to achieve the same effect. Let's just quickly spin the default cube of mystery, Ooh. and I'll press Shift and A, and I'll add in a plane. I'll press S to scale the plane up, and I'll just move the cube off the axis. Now, if we come up to the magnet and enable it, the shortcut key for this is Shift and Tab. And if I drop down the snapping options, you can see that we're given a few different options. We have incremental snapping, which kind of works in incremental stages, Vertex, so it'll snap to a point, edges, edges, faces, and a volume. So I'm actually going to select face. And I'll leave the target at closest. Now when I move the cube, it'll actually snap to the nearest face, which is a plane. So it kind of works like rest on ground. Basic stuff, it's not as good, but it works. Just to give you another example, we'll try vertex, and that'll actually snap to the points. So you'll see a kind of orange circle hover over, and that means I'm actually snapping to a point. I've covered snapping tools before, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Just remember, shift and tab to enable the magnet, and you can actually change your options here. So you can actually snap to edges as well. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of mates now, you know what to do, peace.